Click the Dropbox icon in your menu bar. Click on the Settings button. Select Pause Syncing, or you can directly choose Quit Dropbox from the menu. If you've decided to stop using it, click on your profile picture Select Preferences. Go to the Account tab, then click Sign Out to unlink your Dropbox account from the device. Here is another free Mac Data Sync tool. It's easier to use and its interface is clean and plain. Now I'll show you how to use it. If you find it useful later, please download it in the description area. Open the program and select New Tasks to initiate the process. Select the sync method that aligns with your needs. For syncing between two folders, options like Mirror Sync or Two-way Sync are worth considering. Basic Sync moves files from one folder to another while keeping the originals intact in the source location. Mirror Sync creates an exact copy of your files in the destination folder, including removing any files that have been deleted from the source. Two-way Sync ensures both folders are consistently updated, reflecting any changes made in either location. Choose the folder you want to sync in the folder where the synced files should be stored. Customize the sync schedule and other options to fit your specific workflow. You can set the sync frequency to run once, or at regular intervals like once, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Additionally, you can choose the start time and decide if the system should enter hibernation or shut down after completing the sync. In the options menu, you can fine-tune the sync process by specifying which files and folders to include or exclude, ensuring it works exactly as you need it to. After configuring everything, click the Sync button to start the process and let it complete. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions please leave comments or email us.